I had to run away and hide. Something happened in the middle of the night. Yeah. So here I am sitting on my yoga mat. Uh, I'm supposed to do a video about downward facing dog because it's amazing. It's like the small. Uh, not small, that basic thing where we all like, because it's so basic, we overlook it, but really, downward facing dog is beneficial to all the body, like, it's the pose that we should always do, and it's easy to do, and it's not like you need a big space, or you always need a mat to do downward facing dog, no, every time, as most of you will know, I'm a runner, and I'm a 400 meter and 800 meter runner, so after training or even during training, runners have a bad, bad relationship with their hamstrings. Yes, and personally, I have the worst hamstring history in the history of runners. Okay, this is exaggerating, but yes, my hamstrings are not really the most flexible in the history of flexible hamstrings. But I'm working on that. Hopefully, I will be there someday. Yes. So downward facing dog is my go-to pose. Like during warm up, after warm up, in between the coordination runs, in between my technique runs, in between my normal runs, I always, always just get down and be a down dog, as I call it. In German, it's called down hund because dog, so down dog. So yes, I also call it down dog now, and I see something. Uh, down dog on Instagram, so I think that's also, I didn't need to like say downward facing dog every time, downward, down dog is good, yes, so before I tell you about down dog, I wanted to share my yoga experiment story with you, yes, last week, not actually like three days ago, me and my friend and training partner, she's a very good friend and we trained together like all year last year, yes, and during the summer, She's very nice and we decided, I do yoga but she doesn't. So we decided we both try hot yoga. And we went to a studio in uh, in Munchenaf, not Munchenaf, Frankfurt. If any one of you live in Munich, it's called Bikram Yoga Schwaben, in Schwaben. I think I will leave the address down if you want. It's not an advertisement, I just love the place and I think if you want to try hot yoga, everybody should try it, it's amazing. So we tried it, and yes, on Thursday we had a 90 minute hot yoga session. Oh my god. Number one, it was not what I thought it would be. Yes, I thought I would have like a normal yoga class because yes, I've taken yoga classes, I've done yoga so many times, so I expected something the same. But the moment I went to register, the Yoga instructor told us that have we ever done yoga Bikram before? And I said, No, I only do Ashtanga and Hatha yoga. And she said, Okay, forget what you know, and it's totally different. And I'm like, Okay, thank you. So when we got inside, oh God, oh dear God, I come from Africa. I've actually traveled to the north of Africa, which is supposed to be like the hottest place on the planet, not really. But yeah, it's pretty hot in North Africa anyway. So, the issue was like, the room was so hot that in the first two minutes I was sweating. It's like I was being amazed in a furnace and I just couldn't take it. And the poses, they were like normal yoga poses, <laughs> but they have these very funny names, like Japanese sitting down. like. They just have different, they don't have like the normal yoga Sanskrit name, at least the lady, the yoga instructor wasn't telling us the Sanskrit name, so I was expecting that I would know the names of the poses. She was just telling us some Japanese sitting down, Japanese this, Japanese that, and I'm like, okay, there we go. So, after that, uh, what happened? Yeah, after that, in the first 20 minutes, the issue was like, in Ashtanga yoga, it's like a lot of jumps, a lot of lifts, and it's more like a fitness yoga style. So I'm used to that. Like I don't stay in a pose for a long time. I hold it for five to 10 breaths, and sometimes I hold it like, if I want to concentrate on a specific pose, I hold it for a longer time. But I'm like used to flows and vinyasa, just like floating from one pose to the other. 
But Bikram yoga was totally different. Like the we were in a hot room. I was sweating like I don't know. It was incredibly like I'm a runner. I sweat a lot anyway. But this was oh god no. I was sweating from every part of my body and the room was unbearably hot. Like I had a huge bottle of water in front of me. The, the yoga instructor just keep going like drink water if you feel like it. And she told us because it's our first class that maybe we will feel dizzy and if we feel dizzy we should just sit on the mat and if we feel like it's too much we shouldn't push and because it's like our first class so our first class means that we just have to get used to the temperature first, not concentrating mostly on the yoga poses. And we have to look in front of us for those who have already done the, uh, the yoga type before, so we can look as examples. Yes, the yoga poses were not the issue, like, they were amazing, I loved it, but the heat, like, really hard. It was uh, 40 degrees Celsius inside, I don't know that in Fahrenheit, I'm sorry, and with 40% humidity. So, it was hot. Like, the normal temperature outside, because I was coming from the metro station, the normal temperature was cold, like I was dressed in a winter kind of way, with scarves and coats and everything. And the moment I changed and entered the yoga room, it's like I went to, I don't know, not Africa. Africa isn't that hot. Like, I, well, it's not Africa and West Africa. I come from Nigeria. It's not that hot, like never. But yes, it was hot, like super hot. Uh, but yes, my friends were making fun of me after all that. It's called hot yoga. What did you expect? Like, did you expect something no different? It was called hot yoga. So get me through. Yes. So I signed up for ten days hot yoga classes, even though I know that I only have seven days in Munich. And that time, right now, I only have four days in Munich. So I'm so excited, we'll see. And yes, I went already twice and I'm going back tomorrow morning, Monday, before I don't train, um, I don't have morning training on Monday, so I will go tomorrow, Monday to yoga. And after yoga, I go to my evening training and Tuesday, after my Monday tra uh, morning training, I will go to hot yoga. So I'm like, I'm sure that I can, it's not, I'm not gonna do the 10 days because I'm not gonna be here, but yes, I'm gonna use as many days as possible. It's exciting. And one thing that I love is that my body was flexible. Oh my God. Like, you know that I'm not flexible. That the flexibility just is not there. Like this body, not flexible at all. Even though my friend M says I'm very flexible. Like he's, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I told him that in training actually that yeah I'm not flexible at all but yeah he believes I'm flexible let's forget about it it's okay yes hot yoga makes me flexible I don't know why like the poses that I cannot do in Ashtanga because my body just cannot stretch that much I could do them and I was so happy because it's not about the poses really it's about the fact that I feel that my body was actually stretching into the pose and I could hold King Dancer, I could hold the pose, and even though the, my breathing was like challenging because of the heart and the humidity, it was okay. Like so, I think I would suggest that everybody should try a Bikram yoga, and especially if you're a runner and you want to feel like you come out of a sauna or spa. It's like a spa after I finished and I went out to take a shower. So I feel like I just finished from a spa or something like that. And if you think you're dealing like me with flexibility, try it. Like take a 10 day class. And for you living in Munich, I don't know if this video will be uploaded before the offer finishes, but if you go to Bikram Yoga Schwabing, they have an offer for the 10 days yoga. If you drop in, I think the price is, uh, I'm not gonna say the price because it will be like advertising, but they have an, a good offer, a very good offer. For 10 days so drop in and see and they have a discount for students also so for all you mini yogis try that and let me know if you like it if you have already practiced background let me know your opinion and if you're a hashtag lover like i am let me know if you will try bikram yoga so i finish with my blah 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 blue blah blah blue you know you should know this naomi adeola she talks a lot like really so let's go to downward facing hund. 
yoga pose. We start in table like everything is tied, my curls, my fingers, I'm using every muscle in my body. And from here I just raise up my hip and make sure my head drops between my shoulders and move my shoulders away from my hair. So you can stay here. Just make sure your pelvic floor is tight and strong and your hip is raised and your shoulders and head and neck is soft. That's what is good for every pose. Like this pose is anti-stress. It's really the stress. Breathe in and out. And sometimes if you really feel like you want to give it a notch, raise your Raise here and stand on your toes. Raise your heels off the ground. Stand on your toes. Still keep the upper part soft. All the work, you see your heart is below your head, so everything just goes, is above your head, sorry. And it just goes. And just hold it and raise your kneecaps, please. Raise the kneecap and walk those beautiful hamstrings. You can do this and try again and again. And then jump up, back to one pose. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching my yoga videos. And yes, this is my extra room in my house in Munich, Tutsin. But yes, in four days I'll be back in Athens. I'm so excited, like, I can't wait. And I already found a yoga studio in Athens, so that's amazing. I really hope, uh, Ashtanga Yoga Studio. So we'll see, if there is a Vikram Yoga Studio in Athens, maybe I'll give it a try there again. Yes, my next challenge myself is to try aerial yoga. I have no idea what they do there, we'll see. Okay, bye. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a comment if you like it. Follow my YouTube channel. And if you like my videos, tell me so I can continue doing more videos because I'm really going out of my comfort zone here. I don't really know much about doing videos. So thank you very much. Bye.